excited since we're going into our second semester and a bunch of people in high school are, you know, picking and applying to colleges to go to, that we would do a video giving advice on our first semester in college. Okay, so we just made a list on my phone of things that we thought of. Some of them aren't, actually not a lot of them are academically, uh, we're talking, not, we're talking about the important stuff, you know, yeah, the, the stuff, stuff that, that you actually you really care, care about. about. Yeah, so the first thing I wanted to talk about is when I graduated high school, I thought I was done with group projects. I thought I was done with, um, having to go to other people's houses to get work done and relying on other people to actually do projects. I thought I was done with foreign language. No. No, 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 no. These are the things that people don't tell you about when you're going to college. I was so upset. Group projects still happen, and they're just as sucky as they are in high school. <laughs> you have people who just don't do it, especially, I don't want to call commuters out because I know you can't always live on campus, but I've had commuters who just don't make an effort. They just go home. And then whenever people or people want to work on the project, they're like, oh, sorry, I can't, you know, I don't live on campus. Yeah. Even when they do live on campus, it's, um, you know, they have to work, they have to go to classes, they have to, you know, they can't meet up right now. It's raining, so they don't want to walk in the rain to go <laughs> meet up with you to finish your project that you have a grade on that's due tomorrow. True. <laughs> So group projects still happen. I'm sorry. Sorry to break the news to you. Um, the second one, living on campus is beneficial. It really helps out. <laughs> I know a lot of commuters that wish they had more friends and they don't have more friends because they commute. You know, like, we both live on campus at um, Southern Connecticut State University and it's... I would definitely recommend living on campus because... You get to go to class easier, like you can just yeah. walk out your bedroom you and your basement class. You don't have to wake up, you don't have to wake up at 6 in the morning to go get your butt in a car and drive in traffic to school. Well, you can just roll right out of bed, throw mm -hmm. on some clothes, and like slump your way to class. It's really not that far. It's, it's great, it's great. <laughs> you don't have to worry about no food in the house. You got yourself a meal plan. I know, that's my problem. <laughs> got no food. Um, it really is great. It's a lot easier to make friends. It's easier on academics. You can get an on-campus job. If you have a car, you can get a job nearby. It's just, in my opinion, a lot better to live on campus. Notebooks are better than laptops because you, unless you have like a MacBook Pro, like you are fancy, unless you have a really nice computer that is light, and you can transport it and it has great battery life, notebooks are the way to go. If you're in class for like three hours straight, you got two classes in a row, and your laptop dies and you don't have anything, any other way to take notes, teachers aren't going to let you take notes on your phone. It's not like, it's like high school. You're not allowed to really be on your phone. They, they actually care about that. It's just like high school. Yeah, and I remember things more if I write them down. So that helps me typing them. I don't think about typing because I can type without thinking and I just write everything down and it goes in one ear and out the other so mm -hmm. notebooks are better than laptops definitely um and that's another thing it college is very much like high school it really is you're not allowed to use your phones and you know <laughs> if you get caught using your phone you could possibly drop a letter grade professors are very serious at least at our yeah. college about, and it's a state college, so I assume, you know, more expensive colleges Probably care worse. more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so same guidelines as high school pretty much. One thing that they always tell you in high school is college is going to be so much harder. You're going to have so many more essays, so much more homework. You're not going to have time. You're going to have to manage your time. You're going to have to, you know go between all these things, you're gonna have so many things to do, it's gonna be so hard. It's, it's really not. If you do get more essays, you get an, if you got an essay every class, 
you only have like two classes a day. You can go back to your dorm or back home, bang that essay out. That's all. That's your whole day of school. It's not like high school where you have, I don't know how, ours was four classes a day, but I know people with eight classes a day, and they all give you homework, and so you're just bombarded with work that's due the next day. In college, you pretty much get two days to do your work because you have other classes in between, and you just get one thing. You get an essay, and you got two days to write it. It's really not hard to do, and that's your homework. Plus, that's like, in my English class, the only grades you got were essays, so it's not like there was anything else I needed to do. So it's not like hard at all. Plus, the workload, at least for our first semester, was very easy. Yeah. Another thing is friends are organic. And what I mean by that is you can't go looking for friends. Friends are going to happen. <laughs> We tried looking for friends. We're awkward. First-hand experience. Um, you know, we we reached out to people and we were like, hey, we're trying to make some new friends. You know, we really want to meet people. It doesn't work like that. You have to just, you know, let life happen. Friends find you. You can't go looking for friendships. <laughs> it It just has to happen naturally or else you're not really going to be good friends with them. Yeah, I know in our experience we ended up with a group of friends that started to get around like 14 people and we're not big group people and so after a while it just got tedious and our real friends are the ones who we still hang out with now and there's people from that group of like 14 that we'll say hi to like we're best buddies but we haven't hung out with them all semester. Yeah. Sorry. Um, next thing, I don't know if this is a thing at all colleges, but it's a huge thing in our college. It is so amazing, so amazing. Free t-shirts. SCSU loves t-shirts. Everything is t-shirts. I love t-shirts. <laughs> Every uh, club gives out t-shirts. Every event, they have a guy giving out t-shirts. Intramural sports, the prize isn't trophies, it's t-shirts that you can only get from winning it. They're like trophies, they're one-of-a-kind shirts. Everyone has t-shirts. We have shirts from winning a contest, and people will come up and be like, where can I buy that? And it's like, you can't, we won these. Like, Yeah, so <laughs> if you want a free t-shirt, you better make sure you show up to events half an hour early at least, because there's a mob of people waiting to get those t-shirts, <laughs> yeah. let me tell you. Okay. We waited in line for t-shirts for like an hour and a half. Okay. <laughs> it, it gets is, real. It's ridiculous. But I love my free t-shirts. So amazing. And you get so many. <laughs> Another thing people tell you is that attendance doesn't matter in college. It matters. It matters. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately. Unfortunately it matters. I thought when I was going to college that, you know, I could just skip a class if I don't need to go. I could just, if I'm sick, who cares? I'll just don't go. Or... I mean, I'm paying for it. It's not like it's the teacher's responsibility for me. It's my responsibility. But no. No. You pay $51 a class and you still get marked down if you're absent. A lot of teachers do care about the attendance. They will have like a three-day grace period where you can miss like three classes. But after that, you start getting deducted points from your attendance grade. Some teachers are really serious, they'll even drop a letter grade. Yeah, I know for our school, the English department probably has the strictest policy. You miss three classes and your letter grade starts getting dropped every class afterwards. And attendance is mandatory at every class, even when it's just a class where you're handing in your essay. You've got to show up and be there for attendance. One thing about attendance is if you're in a lecture hall where there's, uh, you're in a big auditorium, there's 250 students, attendance isn't necessary in that aspect, but I mean, you really should go because lecture halls, lecture halls are not bad. Lecture halls, I was in one for intro to psych and there was 250 students. And it's really not bad. All you do is you go and sit down and you just take notes. The professor was really funny. That probably helped. But if you're afraid of having a gigantic class where, you know, you're not going to be able to pay attention, you're not going to be able to 
succeed in that class, they're really not bad. You're just sitting with everybody else, it's not noisy, you know, everybody's there to learn. You're um, taking notes from the projector, it's really not bad. I passed with an A in that class, so... <laughs> You, if you're one of those people who don't like to participate in class, don't like to, you know, be singled out, a lecture hall is so easy to just lose yourself in and not have to answer any questions or anything like that. You will not sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> if you live in a dorm, you're living in a dorm with a bunch of other people, especially freshman year, you're living in a dorm with a bunch of college freshmen. Crazed teenagers. And this is most people's first time where they can go out and they can do whatever they want. They can go to a party, they can drink. I mean, you can't drink, but they can drink. And they do, and they get loud. And a lot of people, there's quiet hours in our dorms from like 10 o'clock to the next morning. Nobody cares. People blast their music. We could hear them two floors up and on the other end of the building. And like the windows are shaking. People don't care. <laughs> And the RAs, I mean, they care, but they can't really do anything because people are just going to complain about it every night, so they just stop caring. Yep. There will be, you know, everything from ambulance, <laughs> sirens, fire trucks, whatever, to... The police just flash their sirens for no reason on our <laughs> campus at, like, for one in the morning. Reason. <laughs> they love to... I don't know if they do it to scare people. I like, think they do. people are walking by and they just put the sirens whoop, whoop. on, like, whoop, whoop, and they're like, oh... Shit. And it's loud. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty loud. But there will be things from that to, you know, the blasting music two floors above you, or somebody knocking furiously on your door oh at 12 a.m. Just to borrow something from you. <laughs> <laughs> Not that you might be sleeping at midnight or anything, just keep pounding on the door. College is great. You can't tell that happened to us. <laughs> <laughs> and the last thing that we wanted to talk about is that Grades like freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, they don't matter in college. Nobody really cares. I mean, some people will be like, oh, you're just a freshman, but they don't actually care about that. And then after that, I'm pretty sure it just disappears after freshman year. Like, nobody really cares. Nobody even calls themselves like a junior or a sophomore, except when it comes to registration. Yeah. And, you know, it's a big deal when you're a freshman in high school and people are dating seniors and you're like, oh my gosh, why is that freshman dating a senior? Um, it's not like that in college at all. You rarely ever know what year people are in in college unless you actually ask and care to know. Because it doesn't matter. You're all right, so that was our real talk for <laughs> college tips for freshmen. And if you have any more questions, we'd be glad to answer them, especially if you're going to Southern. Just a comment, we'll definitely yeah. get back to you. <laughs> we were in the flex program, so. We were. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Overachievers. Overachievers. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching.